Today we got some interesting news about Modern Warfare. It looks like the survival mode for Spec Ops will only be available on PlayStation for a year. Now Sony and Activision haven't outright said it's only going to be there for a year. All we have is the screen at the end of the uh, Modern Warfare story trailer. So we did get an official statement while I was making this video and it says that survival mode is the only piece of content that is exclusive to PS4 in Modern Warfare. Infinity Ward says there's no other content that is exclusive. Infinity Ward also went on to say that the decision was made above their pay grade, which is really tragic to see. I'm sure they're pretty upset about that. I imagine working on something like the survival mode and then being told that, well, it's only going to come to the other two platforms 12 months later. I, I imagine I'd be pretty frustrated. So that did, you know, that did unfold. I'm glad I didn't just finish the video and upload it before that was tweeted out because I wanted to wait for an official confirmation. Some other parts of this video have already been recorded. So if they kind of contradict what I just said here, I'm sorry. I think this leaves a very small amount of room for interpretation, so it may turn out after this video that it's not going to be an entire year before we get a game mode, which honestly would make more sense to me because it's just a very surreal thing. You know, getting maps early or weapons early or an update early is one thing, but having an entire game mode with a year's exclusivity on it is pretty bad. But a lot of people are saying, I'm not buying the game for survival, so it doesn't matter. And I'm kind of in that boat, but there's another boat of people, and those people have a different perspective. The game is launching with an entire mode locked away for your platform. That is terrible, because we're spending $60. Let's pretend we're back in 2011, and I have just purchased Modern Warfare 3 for my PS3. Now, Xbox players are going to get the DLCs 30 days early, but I still have a chance to get those DLCs. Xbox players get access to the survival mode in Modern Warfare 3, while I just have to wait an entire year. Because if you were to wait a year back then, Black Ops 2 would be coming out by the time you could play the survival horde mode in Mo uh, Modern Warfare 3. And so that's not exactly good. Paying the same price and getting something a little bit later is hard to stomach for enough people. Paying the same price and not getting something for the entire life cycle of the game is another. Now, this is where this kind of gets interesting to me. First of all, to those of you saying that doesn't matter because you're not going to be playing survival anyway, hear me out. This game's going to have a cross progression across Spec Ops, Campaign, and Multiplayer. I don't know if everyone remembers that, but they confirmed that your weapon levels and things will increase from playing the campaign or doing Spec Ops or doing multiplayer, like it's all connected. When I first heard that, I thought that a survival mode would be a really easy way to level up weapons and things. In fact, the Titanfall 2 tower defense mode was a great way to unlock weapons and attachments in Titanfall 2, if you wanted a PvE alternative. Now we can still play the campaign and the Spec Ops missions, but we can't do survival, so even though it might not affect you terribly, you could have probably used survival to level up weapons that you maybe didn't like very much. You know, and now you can't do that if you're on Xbox or PC, which is just, well, absurd. And you are missing out a way to progress and level up that other people on a different platform are actually going to have. This also kind of sucks for PS4 players because finding a match in survival might not be easy later down the line without crossplay because with crossplay, you could have probably co-op survival and lasted for a long time, any time of the day or night because of all of the players you get to play with. But now you're going to have a diminished player count in one mode, and that means that later down the life cycle of Modern Warfare, it could kinda die. Non-cross-platform games did just fine on PS4 and Xbox One and PS3 and 360 for a long time, and so maybe I'm just making that up, and maybe it's not going to be a problem, but you know, it's a small one, it could be an issue for them. Just keeping in mind that Modern Warfare has so many places to put people. I mean, you have traditional multiplayer, night mode, realism, realism night mode, ground war, 2v2 gunfight, spec ops missions, and campaign. You might not always have a group of players to play with in survival mode, so if that's important to you, I don't know. The next thing that I find interesting here is that it's not going to come to other platforms until October 2020. So that kind of, for some reason, I don't know why, this kind of tells me that there's not going to be a COD, at the very least, next October, 
but maybe at the most even next year. As far as I'm concerned, all we know about the next Call of Duty is that Treyarch had to be brought in because there was definitely some communication and production problems with Sledgehammer and Raven Software, which doesn't tell me anything other than there's clearly some drama going on. And we heard about that before we even knew what the hell Modern Warfare was going to be like, so that's kind of old information. So because of that, all I'm gonna say is that there was drama at that time, and maybe we're not getting a COD next year, or at least next winter. Maybe the next COD comes out in the spring, or in the summer, or, I don't know, the next, the fall after that fall, I don't know. The only thing I'm really basing this off of is that Infinity Ward and Activision have said that Modern Warfare has the biggest post-launch pipeline out of any Call of Duty game. And they introduced crossplay almost, I think, as a necessity because of all the game modes and things in this game, but also it'll keep the game alive longer after a year. So if you have a Call of Duty game that goes on for 24 months instead of 12 months, then cross-platform will keep it alive through 24 months because it's going to be unlikely that you can't find somebody to play with. When you can team up with all three major platforms that play Call of Duty, that's the best way to keep a game going for 24 months. And you're thinking, well, that doesn't really matter. I can still find lobbies in Infinite Warfare, for instance. Well, yeah, but Infinite Warfare wasn't a two-year COD with nothing in between for people to take a break on. And also, uh, if you look at Battlefield games, after around, you know, 15 months of a Battlefield game, it's really... It's really hard to like get into servers and find matches in, in your region especially. Battlefield 1 was popular with a lot of people, but people also had trouble finding matches, especially after its first year. So what if Modern Warfare is a two-year Call of Duty with a ton of game modes, the largest pipeline of post-launch content, and that's why they feel comfortable releasing a horde mode one year later on other platforms? I will be very surprised if Modern Warfare is a one-year Call of Duty that decides to release the survival mode, what, a week before the next COD comes out? That's... it's... that... Huh, that's dumb even for Activision. I, I'm speechless on that. I'm sure some of you are assuming the worst, and I know some of you are canceling your pre-orders simply out of principle, and I totally respect that. We have no reason to not assume the worst, I'm just kind of spitballing here. As an Xbox player, I'm bummed, but... I'm gonna be getting the game anyway, I'm buying it for the multiplayer and the campaign. Spec Ops can kinda go fuck itself in a lot of ways. Look, I had a lot of fun in Modern Warfare 3 Survival, but I really only played two maps on it, and this was back when I was younger and had even more time to play video games. I barely played Survival Mode. Same thing for Call of Duty Ghosts, I barely played Survival Mode. I don't play Zombies, I didn't really play through the Extinction maps, I don't really give a shit about Horde Mode stuff, so for me personally, it's no skin off my back. And I'm getting a discount on the game because I use Bing Rewards! This video not sponsored by anything. I'm... I'm dying. But this isn't just a conspiracy to me. We have the largest post-launch pipeline ever, apparently. That's just marketing, I know, but that's what they say. They have crossplay enabled, they have a shit ton of game modes, and they're comfortable releasing an entire mode a year later on other platforms. Not six months. We don't get it next summer. We get it next fall. Okay? It is... September 24th when I'm recording this. I won't get to play Modern Warfare Survival unless I either buy a PlayStation or wait until October 2020. Again, that's dumb even for Activision. Activision is very deviously smart when it comes to making money. And if you want proof of that, look at how much fucking money they make. They wouldn't be able to do that unless they were smart. And I don't think they would do this even under duress from Sony. Because even Sony knows that's unreasonable unless this game is supposed to last 24 months. Or maybe a little less. Maybe it's just a year and a half Call of Duty and we get the next Call of Duty next spring or summer. I don't know, but something's happening behind the scenes. And this kind of confirms that for me. But the multiplayer, the thing where people compete against each other, that is on the same playing field, okay? We all get the same maps and content on the same day. We get to cross-play with each other, and I think that's fun. And I think they said that PlayStation will get things a week early, like in like with Black Ops 4. I know that because me and my friends were talking about how that wasn't too bad of a deal, and how we were kind of happy that that was confirmed it's only going to be a week. So maybe they get like a season, like they do like the seasonal things with different battle pass. <laughs> They do that. Maybe PlayStation gets that a week early, but I really don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Let me know what you think down below. And I want to make this clear. I do kind of assume the worst. I am bummed about this. I just wanted to talk about this from some angles. I don't see it being talked about. Anyway, I'll see you when I see you guys. Goodbye.